Hello, it's time to talk about cinema again. I haven't done a cinema vlog for a while. So even though I'm all just woken up and kind of dishevelled and uh, all I've had today is uh, some scrambled egg and cremola foam, I'm just going to go ahead and do one just now. Um, so, cinema. What have I seen recently? Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Super 8 and One Day. I think we'll talk about Rise of the Planet of the Apes and One Day uh, today. Now, I'll, I'll talk about One Day first, because that's the one that most people have been asking me about. What about One Day? So what's One Day? One Day is a romantic comedy with... Uh, I'm doing this well. Anne Hathaway and Jim Sturgis uh, with... Ken Dot, uh, Ken, Ken Dot, <laughs> Ken Stott, and a bunch of other people um, uh, also in the film. Uh, it's based on a book, uh, which, as many of you know, and uh, this book apparently is of godly proportions. I, I heard somebody telling me about how their friend was reading it and, and was so involved with it that she, although she was sitting in a train surrounded by people in the middle of Russia, she couldn't help but just burst into tears and, and you know, just sob and sob for the sheer emotional power of the book. Um, so, obviously, the film needs to kind of try and reflect that. And when I went to see this film, I, being rather sappy, sad, pathetic, um, lover of uh, really soppy rom coms, you know, because like winningly some of my favourite films are, you know, Milan Rouge, Jack and Sarah, uh, you know, I don't mind Love Actually, I go Notting Hill, I love Four Weddings and a Funeral, the list goes on. I am a worrying sap. Yeah, so I went into this cinema early in the morning on my own <laughs> to this first show of one day, wanted to ball my eyes out and cry and go, oh, it's so emotional. But of course, that was not quite the case. No, I, 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 but of course, that's not the case. That's the sound too cynical and grumpy. No. One day was interesting. The way they told the story through one day in the year, uh, over 20 years, uh, was interesting. It was different. I hadn't seen it exactly done like that before. But of course, the problem is, as with other franchises like, you know, uh, Harry Potter being the biggest example and a lot of other things, the transference from book to film is not necessarily that good. Um, I'm just going to talk about one day because if I talk about anything else, I'll just go on and on and on. Um, one day, it just... Apparently, you've really got involved in, in the sheer scale of it. You got really pulled into this big world where you were just, you know, you totally believed in the characters of Emma and Dexter and Halfway and Jim Sturgis' characters in the film. Uh, and, you know, you were with them. And, you know, I heard some one person say um, uh, on Twitter or something like that that it, 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 it felt like you had Emma and Dexter on your phone, that you, 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 were, you were in contact, that they were your, your friends and you were just hearing about their lives. Well... Um, the film just fell short of that. It just... I didn't even well up until the absolute end when they had got pulled every dramatic sword out that they had in the book and they were, like, presenting everything in the big kind of flay, the kind of, oh, it's the end, it's so sad, it's so big, it's so dramatic, and don't you just care so much? Um, so it, the fact that I had to get to that point before there was even a tear in my eye, I mean... That's not what I want to get. I mean, look at Jack and Sarah, the fabulous film with Richard E. Grant where he loses his wife uh, and is left with this newborn baby because she's died in childbirth. And only about 10 minutes into the film, you could potentially be sobbing your eyes out because it's tragic. Seeing him sitting there looking at this wine glass that's still got a bit of, a bit of lips, his wife's lipstick on it from where they'd been drinking the night before. And, you know, him just sort of standing there looking at this glass thinking, she is dead and that's her you know her her that's her lips on that thing and it just you know like you're like ah, 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 ah. but one day did not have that effect the the what I was talking about the book to film it's too fleeting it's too fleeting it, it just it, it doesn't I mean for instance 1997 the year 1997 all they did for that day was Anne Halfaway swam a bit for five seconds 
that's all. Apparently huge chunks of the books were missed out and that was obvious because it was interesting seeing the, the narrative like, you know, told in that way, but it was too it was too short. It was too it was too brief, too fleeting. You just you just never had a time to latch on to things because there was really big opportunities there. There was some really dramatic things going on, you know, life and death, childbirth, all the rest of it. And Okay, I respect that they missed, went past them and just looked at the effects of things, which is interesting because it's not what often films tend to do. But because they just didn't pay any attention to these things almost, it just ended up being... <sighs> so, it's not so good. It's worth a watch if you like rom-coms, if you like Anne Hathaway. But other than that, I'd say just avoid it. It's not that great. It's not that good. I just... I would leave it. Okay, okay. So, yes, one day... Tweet review, moment after, gave it 3 out of 5, just said it was alright, but, you know, I wanted to cry my eyes out. I, I only just slightly welled up at the end. I didn't even, you know, have a proper cry, which is, which is not good. I, I, I don't want that. I, I want to be, I want to turn into, really, you know, a complete and utter sad, pathetic girl when I go and see one of these films. And that, that, that frankly, you know, left me far too manly. So, uh, that's just not good enough. So, yeah, that's it. 3 out of 5. One day another example of bad book adaptations and I'll leave it there because it could go on all day and I want to have more Cromola foam so oh and I'm going to go and see Cowboys and Aliens and that'll come soon Um, have a nice day and get some Cromola foam did you know it's back did you know it's back it's brilliant Cromola foam I thought we'd lost it but we haven't there we go bye bye <laughs>